Well, hi everybody, and thank you so much, Celeste, for the opportunity just to share um, for a few minutes something that's on my heart. Um, so the topic of peace is an amazing one, and I get excited just thinking about it. But instead of just sharing a teaching or some principles with you, I decided to share an experience that I had with you, part of my story over the last couple of months. Um, I thought that that was probably the best use of my time today. So I hope that you're encouraged by what I've experienced. Um, for those of you who, not, who, who don't know me, um, my mum passed away very, very unexpectedly about 10 months ago now. She was in a car accident and um, she actually survived the accident. She was very badly hurt. She was in hospital for a while, but she was recovering and she was home and I'd actually booked my flight to go and see her um, because she needed help with the recovery time. Um, I was scheduled to fly out on the Saturday morning and the Friday afternoon she passed away, so I didn't see her. So this was something which was a huge shock. It was a traumatic thing that happened. Um, and it's been an intensely difficult time this last 10 months, just journeying and processing with the Lord and just trying to deal with, with trauma. And the weird thing about trauma is that your body responds to trauma in a very particular way. So trauma isn't necessarily an event that happened, but it's, it's the way that your body stores up that experience and, and lives it out in, in the months afterwards. And that's been such a weird experience for me. I've never experienced anything like it. But, you know, part of my battle and part of my journey was that I just felt this extreme disconnect between me and the Lord. And it's weird because I'm not someone who normally battles to connect with God. It's intimacy with God is something that I really value and cherish. And it's just felt in these months that there's something that I'm, that's sitting on my chest. It's something, there's almost this barrier, this disconnect, this, this thing that wants to keep me at a distance, kind of, I think my body just numbed down and I just was really, really battling to connect with God. I would pray, I would worship, I would read the Bible, but you know, you experience God, but not in the way that I was used to. And this is something that has been really grieving my heart in this process. And I've been walking through it with the Lord and I've been in counseling, even speaking to a lady in, in America over Zoom, thankful for technology. Um, and actually, this is what I want to share with you. It was about a month ago now. Um, this, this, this lady was praying for me over Zoom, actually, and she had been experiencing the Lord um, quite significantly, having encounters with Jesus in her sleep. And so she prayed for an impartation um, of that I would encounter Jesus, the ability to be able to dream and have visions and, and experience Jesus in my sleep. And that very night... Um, it was amazing. I had this incredible series of encounters with Jesus in my sleep. It was extraordinary. I've had encounters with the Lord before, but this was different. I saw a whole bunch of, of images and pictures and I heard the audible voice of Jesus. And what he said to me was, Fiona, stay connected. And um, that, that woke me up, that the audible voice of God, it literally woke me up and God had me write down in very, very, very um, just amazing amounts of detail. He began to speak to me. He began to show me things that were happening right now in the present moment. He took me back to things that happened in the past even. And then afterwards, he showed me pictures and images of, of the future and just reminding me of who I am and, and showing me this beautiful picture of hope and freedom. And it was just such a restoring moment. It was such an incredible encounter. When I finally went back to sleep, I even had more dreams and experiences with the Lord. When I woke up that morning for the first time in nine months, and that's another thing, it was exactly nine months that experience to the day that my mom passed away. Um, when I woke up for the first time, I felt alive. I was so filled up on the goodness of God. I was so just full of life and peace and joy that one night, one encounter, one word, one moment with Jesus, it literally it changed everything. It, he came and in that moment, he, it was almost like the, the last nine months of my life, he was taking and showing me peace by piece and speaking into every detail of, of that experience and piece by piece he was restoring peace to my heart, to my soul, to my body. I was so filled up on the goodness of God after that and it's, it's like things haven't been the same at all since then. I feel completely different. I feel 
so connected. I feel so plugged into the source of life. And it just, it reminded me so much of that scripture in John 15, where Jesus is speaking and he's saying, I'm the vine and my father is the gardener. And, you know, he gives us this imagery of what it means to stay connected to the source of life. And if you go and read that scripture in John 15, I think he uses the word like remain or abide like 10 or over 10 times. It's extraordinary, but he keeps saying it again and again. Remain in me. If you remain in me, you will bear much fruit. Remain in my love. Stay here in this place of being connected and drawing from the source of life because Fiona, that is the place of life. That is the place where, where you need to be drawing from and everything that you say, the relationships that you have, the work that you do, the ministry that you do, everything flows out of that place. And you know, we know that. We know that that is a principle of, of God's kingdom. And I really just needed to be reminded of that. I needed to hear Jesus' voice. I needed to hear him reminding me of the simplicity of that promise. Fiona, stay connected. This is the life source. This is the place of peace and joy. And I want to just say something about peace. You know, that, that scripture that we all know, I think it's what Romans 14, 17, where it's speaking about the kingdom of God. It's not about eating and drinking and all this external stuff, but it's righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. That is the kingdom of God. So peace and joy go hand in hand. And I want to say that it was in that moment, it was like when God restored peace to my heart, he was giving me permission to have joy. You know, in my grief process, I've almost felt like I'm not allowed to have joy, but God was explaining that, that joy goes with peace. And this is, this is almost the tangible evidence of what it means to be remaining, to be, to be abiding in Him. And so I really just want to encourage you with that today. I know it's such a short little uh, share. I wish I could say more about it, but really, you know, God wants us to, to stay so connected with him because that is the place where peace and joy are found. And our responsibility or our response to that is just to make sure that we, that we guard that, that we treasure that, that we protect that place of abiding. And we can tell if we are abiding or not because the fruit, it's, it's peace and joy and these things go hand in hand. So if, if it's okay, I really just want to pray for you today that I want to pray for an impartation um, that you would be able to experience God, that you would be able to encounter God like you've never been able to before, even in your, your sleep, whether it's in your waking or your sleeping and your dreaming. I want to pray right now that you would receive that ability to connect with him. So, Father, thank you right now just for the opportunity of being able to pray and just release God, the ability to dream, that just to release an, a, a capacity to encounter you, Jesus, in our sleep, <laughs> however you want to encounter us. I pray that, that, that these ladies listening would, would, would be able to encounter you in ways that they've never experienced before, that you would come and restore connection where the enemy has tried to come and steal connection to make this, to cause this disconnect or this, this thing that makes us feel disconnected from the presence of God. I right now speak a restoration of intimacy and connection that because of that place of righteousness in you, Jesus, we can have peace and joy. The peace that comes from hearing your voice. Just one word, God, just one word. It changes everything. And the joy that bubbles up on the inside of us because of that encounter. I pray for that in the name of Jesus. Amen.